Hi, my name is Simon Curry, and welcome back to the Newbury Sax School. I'm going to show you the notes and how to play the intro to Baker Street. First of all, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how the tune goes, uh, and then I'll explain the notes step by step. All the notes in this intro are on a B pentatonic scale. And I'm going to show you all the notes to the tune now. And it starts on a D, which is six fingers and your thumb. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and your thumb on there. And it sounds. And then it goes to the top D, which is the palm key there and your thumb on. And it sounds. Now there's a run up between those two notes and I will show you that at the end. So we've got our first two notes, D to D. And the next note is C sharp. So that's no fingers at all. No fingers. And we've got a thumb on. And the next two notes are a B which is one finger with a thumb on, and an A, two fingers with a thumb on. And here it is again. So the next uh, three notes we have on the end of this phrase is a A, B, C sharp, B. So you've got an A, you've got a B, and you've got a C sharp, and a B again. And those are all with your thumb on. So it's A, B, C sharp, B. And that, that little section goes. I'll do it again. Right, so the next uh, section we've got it starts on an F sharp this time, which is three and the middle one there. It's a very sh short note and it goes to the top D, which is the side palm key, that one there, and the thumb. So the next note on there is a C sharp, the B and the A. C sharp, no fingers, the B, one finger, and the A, and that's got your thumb on. So from the start of that second section, and then it goes to the F sharp. So you've got one, two, three, and the middle one there with your thumb on. Now there are two F sharps in that phrase. Uh, the second one is it's kind of a, a drop down. So with your lip, so you do a wah wah with your lip. So that's basically the same note with your lip dropped down and back up again. And this is it, the whole phrase fast. So I'll do that slowly. So let's put the whole lot together from the start. First phrase. Okay, so the next phrase is exactly the same as the first two, uh, except when we come to the A. So you've got your F sharp, you've got your D, F sharp there, the thumb on, and then you've got your uh, D with your side palm key in your thumb, C sharp open, B, A, and now we've got uh, four A's. Now I'm going to show you that phrase, and then we'll get to those A's.
So it's A, 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 F sharp, and the F sharp's there. And so it sounds. So that's your third phrase. Now, our final phrase starts off with the F sharp again. To the D, and then the C sharp, no fingers. Then you've got the B, and then you've got the A. Now, there's a new little section there. It's the B, C sharp, B. B, C sharp, B. And the last three or four notes, you've got an E, three, and two with your thumb on. And it goes with an E to the F sharp, to the E, to the D, which is six fingers, and your thumb on. All these have your thumb on to the B. So that's take your thumb off, and it's the middle B. There we go. And it's got... So the whole that phrase. And that last E to F sharp to E is a kind of. So you lift that one off quick. So that's all the phrases put together. Uh, I'll play them in a second to you, but I just wanted to explain to you the first little phrase which got a glissando. And a glissando is where you slide all your notes up to the top. So it's basically a, uh, the easiest way of doing this is a D major scale played fast. And I'll take you through that D major scale. So you've got a D, six fingers, all, the, all of these are with your thumb on, D. E, F sharp, G, three fingers, A, B, C sharp, no fingers, and the D. And it sounds. So, build the speed up. Now, to make it sound more of a, a glissando, so it's a nice even sound and a slide, what you do is you drop your pressure on your lip, on the reed, slightly down. Like that. And then you move your fingers up and build the pressure back up with your lip. And what also, what helps with that, it's quite advanced. Um, it'll still sound great if you just did a... But for the more advanced people, what you can do is you can close your throat and push your tongue forward on that note, on the bottom D. And slide your lip down a bit, not to add the pressure, and keep your throat chamber very, very small, and then bring it open to the top. And so your throat chamber opens a little bit. This is quite advanced for you more advanced players. And then the last C sharp to D, there we go, C sharp to D, is the longest part of the run up. So you'd go at the end. So the C sharp to D is really slow with this key. So if I move this key so you can see it moved, I'll, I'll move this way so we can see it. If, there it is, I'm looking now. So you can see I'm just sliding that D slightly open and slightly closed, and it sounds. Okay, so there you have it. I'll play the whole lot. So those are the notes for Baker Street for alto. Uh, now, if you'd like to go over to the Newbury Sax School members area and join, we've got, we're have got we doing an offer at the moment of uh, a free month, and then it's only $4.99 a month. We've got over 400 lessons in there. You've got uh, Epic Sax Guy. You've got Careless Whisper. You've got the rest of the course of Baker Street. 
uh, and you've got a beginner's course in there, you've got funky courses. Our latest things, we, we have virtual band. Uh, so you send a, a video in of you playing to a track that we give you, and then I put it into a, a group of about 10 or 15 people per video uh, playing along to some popular tunes or some jazzy tunes. We have a wide selection. So go to the members area and I'll see you there.